So all we know from that little experiment, oh, we did, uh, Mason chose nine. So I had Mason stand on number nine. You can put your hands down. <laughs> I had Mason stand on number nine, and we found out that he was nine spaces away from zero, right? And when Angelina chose to stand on negative five, she was five spaces away from zero. Did you ever see that done before? Do you know what that means? It just means whatever's above it, go ahead and save some time. So we just did a little experiment with absolute value. Because you know what the definition of absolute value is? I want you to write this. The distance... And distance is a pretty important word, so I want you to underline it because we're going to talk about that in a minute. That a number is away from zero on a number line. And that is the definition of absolute value. Okay? The distance that a number is away from zero on a number line. Now, I underline distance because it's a pretty important word. So we're gonna, I'm going to do another little experiment here. I'm going to do something, and I'm going to ask you what you think the distance that I traveled is. Okay, ready? And I'm not going to count. I'm standing right here. And then I'm going to take three steps. Let's pretend like the steps that I take are a foot exactly. Ready? What distance did I travel? Good. Very good. Because a lot of, you know, do you know why some people, would it make sense to you that some people said zero? Didn't trick you guys. Why would you think people would say zero? Because they say, you're right where you started. You didn't travel any distance. And then I'll say to them, you didn't see me just move with your own eyes? I moved. So does walking backwards undo distance? No, it means you do more. So I moved three feet forward, and then you watched me walk three feet. Yeah, I walked backwards, but it didn't erase the fact that I moved. So... What we just learned about that is that distance can never, ever be a negative number. In this unit of negatives that we're talking about, I need you to know that there's no such thing as negative distance. So why don't you go ahead and write that? So there's no such thing as negative distance. Walking backwards or driving your car backwards doesn't take the miles off of your car. It still puts miles on your car, right? That would be cool. Did you guys ever see Ferris Bueller stay off? Is that, is, that you're gonna, is that what you're thinking about? Real quick, I'll explain it. There's this guy, there's this kid, they're all in high school. They skip school one day and they take their dad's like sports car out and this dad's, their sports car is like his baby. Like he knows exactly how many miles are on it. And um, he has it in this glass showcase. So he takes his, him and his friends take it out and drive it around the town all day. Put like hundreds of miles on this car. Even the valet takes it out, right? And so his dad knows there's like 100 miles on this car. So then he, and on the odometer, right? I don't know if you guys know that, okay? So you can tell how many car, miles are in your car. So then by the end of the day, he puts it back. There's like 600 miles on his car. And he's like, oh my gosh, my dad is going to freak out. And I'm going to be in so much trouble. And he was thinking he was going to be a rebel, but then is got scared, right? When it comes time to it, he got scared. So what did they do in the movie? Yeah, Nikolai. They put like little Yeah. Yeah, so they propped the back two wheels up, put a brick on the gas pedal, and put the car in reverse. Well, duh. Think about what I just told you about negative distance. Does putting the car in reverse and going backwards undo the fact that you just put 400 miles on that car? No. So it's actually putting more miles on the car, right? 
So they did not understand. Maybe they shouldn't have skipped school that day. Maybe they should have gone to school and learned that there's no such thing as negative distance. So because walking or driving backwards doesn't undo the fact that you just moved, there's no such thing as negative distance. So you know what that tells me? If distance is the word that we use to define absolute value, then your answers for absolute values will always be what kind of a number? Positive. Positive. Good. You got it. So your answers will always be positive. Okay, they're, they're going to be something later on, maybe in eighth grade, that throws a little something in there, but nothing for you to worry about right now. Your answers are going to be positive today because the question is, how far from zero is this number? So here's what's a little tricky. Um, because if I were to say, if you're standing at negative 5, well, well, first let's do this. I need to write this answer. Have you ever seen that before? Ever seen those lines? Sometimes people call them, they're like bars. So those, those are, that's in a bar. That is the symbol for absolute value. So go ahead and kind of point to that. And that's your symbol for absolute value. So from now on, whenever you see that, you know what to say. You know that that says, oh, they want to know the absolute value of negative 5. They want to know how many spaces away from 0 negative 5 is. That's all they're asking. Yeah. I remember doing so many about this yes, you probably did absolute value last year. Is everything all right over there? Is there a watch going off or something? Okay. What's that? Okay. Are we ready? So... Absolute value means how many spaces from zero is negative five. So on a number line, watch please. How many spaces away from zero is negative five? Five. Boom. That's it. That's all you do. Now, that seems okay, but why, for some reason, I'm going to put you to a big test right now. Are you ready? See if you pass this. If the absolute value of negative five is five, what's the absolute value of five? Five. Do you know how many people, after going over and over that whole, there's never going to be a negative distance, do you know how many people want to say negative five? A lot. Why are they so tempted to tell me that the absolute value of five is negative five? Because? Because there's something that happens that the absolute value of negative five is five. So right. So they're thinking opposites. Another person said, no. They um, like argued with me. They're, I was like, I was a teacher. They're like, no, you're going backwards. It's negative 5. And then I kept saying, well, it's the distance. I don't care what direction you're going to get to 0. How many spaces did you go? That's all I need to know. So, yeah, it looks kind of tricky. But negative 5 and positive 5 both have an absolute value of 5, right? Okay? So, if I were to say... What's the absolute value of 7? You would tell me? 7. What's the absolute value of negative 10? 10. You got it. Okay. What's the absolute value, go ahead and grab that, of 0? I want you to think about that one. Not much to think about, but... Hey, Wesley, what's up? Um, yes, here we go. Where is it, though? Oh, right here. Okay, just go ahead and hang it on my door when you're done, okay? Here you go. Okay, all right. So, the absolute value of zero is what? How many spaces away from zero is zero? Yeah, it's zero, right? Okay, watch this next. What if, you know what, before I go on, here's what I do every year. It's kind of silly, but I make these, like, absolute value bars, like, into little magic fairy wands. Woo! And you know what they do? They go poof! And they poof away all the negative signs, right? You're going to be like, I'm a senior in high school, and I remember how stupid Mrs. E was when she said that. But I, you remember it, right? Okay? So, there you go. Trick question. Um, tell me all the numbers quietly in your head or raise your hand that A could equal. How many values are going to work for A? A could equal what? Give me one thing that A could equal. Kaylee? 14. A could be 14. What else could A be? Carter? Negative. Negative 14. Right? Does that make sense? All right. You got this. So A could equal 14 or negative 14. Okay. How about this? Hmm. 
Hmm. What does that mean? It means first you have to add them and get an answer. Second, take the absolute value of that answer. So what is the absolute value of the sum of 5 plus 16? 21. Okay. How about this one? Be careful. I know what you're thinking. You see a negative 7 in there or a minus 7 and you're so like, okay, I got to get it out. I got to make it positive. No, you have to do that problem first and get an answer. So I know I haven't taught you this yet, but I think you can do this. What's 5 minus 7? It's negative 2, right? And then what's the absolute value of negative 2? 2. Do you see how that gave me 2 as an answer? Okay. Now, what would this be? Do you think that answer is still going to be 2? Raise your hand if you think that answer is still going to be 2 or if you think it's going to be something different. Anybody think it's going to be something different? Okay. I didn't see any hands, so I didn't give you much time to think. So go ahead and think. Do that problem, what you think it is. All I did was separate them. I put them each in their own absolute value. Do you think that changes things? What's the absolute value of 5? <clears throat> what's the absolute value of negative 7? So what's 5 plus 7? <coughs> so putting them in their own absolute value house, separate, changes the answer as opposed to when they're both together. Do you understand that? Okay. So be very careful of that. So try this one. Negative 10. Okay, get what you, get an answer for that. And I got one other thing to show you, and then we are done. The absolute value of negative ten? Ten. ten. The absolute value of negative five? Five. And ten plus five? Fifteen. Fifteen. I don't know if any of you know this yet, because this is the unit that we're on. Do you know what negative 10 plus negative 5 would be? Think about your bell work. Negative 5 plus negative 10 is negative 15. And negative 15 plus negative 15 is 15. In this case, it actually worked out to be the same. I, sh I should have th thought of a different answer. Okay, moving on to the second part. Are you ready? Absolute value. I'm going to give you two numbers on the number line. Okay, so let's pretend like Mason was back at 9. And Angelina was back at negative 5. I know that Mason was 9 spaces from 0. And Angelina was 5 spaces from 0. How many spaces were they from each other? Don't, don't shout it. I'm gonna, I'll say that again. If, if this was 0 and Mason was back here at negative 9 and Angelina was at 5, then how many spaces... From each other, were they? Think about it, Tyler. 14. Yes. 14 spaces from each other, right? So on your notes, um, I want you to write this. The distance between two numbers on a number line. Are you ready? Let's do this first. Eight. And 10. If somebody's standing on 8 and somebody's standing on 10, how far apart are they? Two, right? They're two spaces apart. If you're at 8, picture going 9, 10. Okay? If somebody is standing at 12 and somebody is standing at 20, how many spaces away? The di so the distance between them is 8, right? What if somebody's at negative 5 and somebody is at negative um, 12. How many spaces away from each other are they, Alyssa? Seven. Yeah, they're seven spaces away. Does everybody see that? Okay. I'm going to give you one more like this, then I'm going to try to trick you. If somebody is at negative 100 and somebody else is at negative 150, how many spaces away from each other are they? 
Okay, so I'm finding the distance between, right? All right. Don't be little robots. Put your thinking cap on. If somebody is at negative 10 and somebody's at positive 5, raise your hand if you think you know the number of spaces between those two people. Emelise. 15. Not 5. What did I do here? Oh, I subtracted. I got 2. I subtracted that I'm, I got 8. I got I subtracted. I subtracted. But why all of a sudden explain to me how she knew that that was that she was supposed to add those, Brian? Um, one was negative and one was, one was 5. Yeah. So so when they're kind when they're different signs like that. So guess what? Because if you are standing at 5 right here and I have to get all the way next to gauge back there it's a negative 15 I have to walk five spaces just to what just to get back to zero and then I still have so you know what somebody said you have to cross over zero that makes sense doesn't it don't you have to cross over it so if you're picturing a little person walking on a number line and you know what you can picture a number line like this if you want this is really helpful when you're thinking about temperature right because if I were to say the temperature at noon or when I woke up this morning was 5 degrees and now it's, um, and when I went to bed it was 11 below, how much did the temperature drop? Did it drop 6 degrees? No, because no, if it dropped 6 degrees it would be negative 1. It dropped 16 degrees. Because, are you ready? It went from 5 all the way down. It went 5 and 11 more. Got it? Okay. So I'm going to give you...